Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we are back with Planet Zoo. I feel like it has been a hot minute since we've played Planet Zoo franchise mode, so I am excited to get into it. I think it's going to be a ton of fun and yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So we are back with our Masai Zoo. Should we check out the, the little entrance that we actually haven't finished because that's just like a massive circle with nothing in it. Um, we definitely need something like a... Um, like a statue or a fountain or I think it's too small for a habitat but we'll figure out something it'll be like the very last thing we do I swear um and yeah I I don't know I don't know what we really want to do today last thing we did oh hang on a minute I've noticed something <laughs> what is this there we go okay I'll change that that's fine I forgot my I used to have a very different path also the exhibits are just questionable like I forgot about this area maybe that's what we'll do today uh, but last time in this series what we did do was we added a brand new habitat with some new species uh, we actually got some Siberian tigers oh and you're taking a poop you look very majestic though whilst taking a poop um, and we got two of these bad boys uh, we made them a brand new exhibit which is pretty cool looking i quite like it very snowy um and they're having a good time one of them did escape um but we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen that was completely my fault um oh dear we have an injured one do we i don't know if we do maybe that was a past concern uh, but overall let's have a look at our overview of the zoo so ticket prices i kind of want to put up don't know if i'm able to yet but i'm gonna give it a go they may complain and then we'll just put it back down our zoo reputation is pretty good um marketing's amazing i think our marketing is good because it carries over from our other zoo because we have two franchises one that i do videos on here and then one that i do streams on over on my twitch so if I go to finances, marketing, I think this is the, oh no, maybe we are just doing marketing in this one actually. I think so. Should we do another one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do another marketing. Uh, this one doesn't renew and I'll keep this one renewing, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, guest education rating can always go up. I feel like that's always something that is like my short straw. Um, what the hell is this? Is this our marketing? Oh, okay, skyrockets. Uh, everything else is pretty steady, not got any crime. Um, finances, making a good profit and have been uh, in general. And then our animals are looking pretty damn good. We have a lot of snakes actually. Should, I, I, I don't know if we have too many snakes. We should probably check that out. Um, got a lot of, oh wow, we have a lot of gazelles actually. That is a lot of gazelles. Um, they are all young and infertile which is interesting too i think we were getting these guys to breed so maybe let's put these no i still want them to breed though no this doesn't make sense i'm really confused i think these two are the parents let's have all the females on contraception and i'll take the males off contraception just so we don't have like inbreeding of these siblings because that's not ideal we want these guys to breed um these two are the parents we're getting them to breed these are the siblings and then maybe we'll put all of these guys on contraception because we don't want any more snakes, I guess. And then these two are the parents so that they can continue to breathe, that's fine. Then we have all of our stuff and stuff. Stuff seems fine. Research is going quite well. We want some more on the Siberian tigers and then maybe some more on the lemurs. Haven't got any mechanical research going on, but as you can see, we have like maxed out our research because the research carries on from the other franchises and I've been researching like the Africa theme, um, barriers, souvenir shops, food shops and stuff. So that carries all the way over to this, which is good. I kind of do want to get something researched though. So maybe we can finish off new world theme why not it's just it's almost there so i kind of want to finish it off which is good uh we don't really look at this much but we've got high demand for a lot of things so we don't have a lot of guest facilities and i feel like that's because this zoo is still quite small like if we oh god it's a horrible rainy day so you can't see much um the zoo is quite small it is quite small so um it kind of explains why it's such an ugly zoo every time i look at it i'm like why did i do these weird wiggly paths 
I don't know. It's it's really strange and funky, honestly. Um, I'm trying to think of like where, if I could even get a habitat in here. Maybe like I can box this off and just like have some facilities around here, which will encourage people to use this side of the zoo. So maybe we'll, we'll do a bit of that. So let's have a look and see what other food and drink places we can get. So we're gonna go to guest facilities. Uh, we have all these unlocked, which is amazing. So we've got Gulpy, um, is that soda and slush? Yes. Um, oh, maybe that isn't. Maybe, have we unlocked any others? I swear there's more gold piece. I don't know anymore. Oh God. Oh, we've got pip shots. So maybe we can get like a pip shop juice or water and then we can get another food place like pizza pen or something. Uh, I'm gonna go to our blueprints though because I have the shop shell saved somewhere. I just need to find it. So it will be is it this one? Oh god is it this i think it's this yeah this looks like it's it okay cool perfect so we just need to get one like over here i'd say i think that's pretty standard like if we just put it here like oh oh like that okay perfect and then we are going to go into facilities and we'll choose which one we want so i think our, our pip shop water is pretty standard because you know water pretty essential uh so i think that's a good one to get there we go and then also we can get a pizza pen because pizza is delicious that is my reasoning. So there we go, we've got those. Uh, I'm going to have to add them to the work zone. Got an inspector coming in six months, amazing. Um, okay, pip shop water, let's do this. So if we just type in water, it normally comes up with the correct thing. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna get a little, oh, I've forgotten how to rotate things now. It's Z, it's Z in Planet Zoo, there we go. And then we'll do the same with pizza pen, like this. And Z, rotate this, put that there. Beautiful, that's looking kind of cool. I like it, nice. Um, and then let's just go in, I'm pretty sure we have a, yeah, we have two work zones actually, amazing. So this one will definitely be in work zone two. Oh, so we'll add it there, amazing, nice. Uh, and it automatically hires two vendors too, so that's pretty good, um, but nice. Uh, I have noticed because we didn't unlock all of the themes when we started this, we do have like all the old benches and stuff, which I kind of want to start changing. So uh, let's start in this little plaza area, I guess. And I'm going to start getting rid of some of the more basic looking benches and stuff like these and we can get some nicer ones so we do have the kind of africa theme here as well um and we have two options we have like these ones or these ones i quite like these benches um and we use a lot of these the second like version of the african bench in our other zoo so i think it'd be nicer to do this here i'm gonna put a lot of um benches in i think and we're gonna do the same with bins we are gonna change what bins we have in this zoo um just so it looks better okay cool so we have more bins here oh sorry i know you're just trying to do stuff with that okay i got rid of it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> there we go uh we'll get some more benches in here god we have a lot of bins actually and a lot of benches um i guess we need to put them in specific places so we don't like create traffic if that makes sense so i think oh can we move that over a little bit yeah we can and then facilities there we go okay that's good got a random rogue bin over here as well uh so let's let's put two bins here and then maybe this that's a lot of bins but you know the more bins the merrier i guess um yeah i think that's fine also maybe oh, have i is this too many benches i don't know this whole plaza area needs to change i think because it, it looks very very questionable um but slowly and surely we'll, we'll start changing all the benches maybe i'll do it off camera because it's kind of long and boring um meanwhile let's check everything else out so we have a vip guest which we want to greet We've got some vet research that has been completed i'm guessing it's on the siberian tiger nice um still gotta do oh god wow there's a lot of research for this one 
Is that more than normal? Four, five, six, seven, and the, no, they're all seven. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was shorter. Um, okay, cool. So I wanted to add a brand new animal actually to our zoo. I think here would be a good idea. Our power things are here, so this is a good area for it. Um, I do want to stop doing the wiggly path thing. Now it may look weird if I randomly stop doing it, but I'm going to give it a go um, just because I don't really like it anymore, um, which is a bit late to decide that. But you know what? We're going to we're going to just do it. It's fine. Um, so we need to make sure this is wide enough, which I think this is. Um, I kind of want to create a grid. So like this. I think it's too late to do this though because look it ends up looking really really strange in comparison oh no i'll give it a go anyway um and when in doubt it can just go back to being the strange thing that it is um okay there we go so then this is going to be a habitat i've decided cool now what habitat it's going to be i've had a few suggestions i asked some of my twitch subscribers and let me have a little look at what people suggested um maybe we'll go with the first one so we had giant tortoises that were suggested um so let's get one of those filtered in so they're the aldabra giant tortoises which i think we have in our other zoo uh then someone also suggested the indian pea fowls which are also a good choice uh we also got snow leopards now snow leopards i have a feeling are going to be super expensive so we probably have to save for those um another one is the colombian capuchin white-faced monkeys there we go beautiful um so let's search for all of these i guess and see which ones are cheaper because we're gonna have some really really expensive one uh pea fowls are quite cheap i do remember that for a fact so maybe we could just make a like a little pea fowl habitat um but then this is quite big so maybe maybe we could do a exhibit back here maybe like one here that could be a cool idea should we do a small one here? I think that's a nice idea. I like that idea. Okay, so let's get some pea fowls. Uh, I think they're quite good in big groups. Oh, look at you. Okay, I'm getting you. This is like an albino one, I think. It's like completely white and looks so beautiful. Um, so we have two males. Um, we do need a female up in here. Um, I have a feeling females might be a bit expensive. There we go, can get you. Any other female? You're quite pretty, should we get you as well? nice and then i bought them all on conservation credits just so that we can um make sure that um they can be released rather than like we have to sell them and then for the habitat i don't really know what we want to go for let's have a look so indian peafowls indian peafowls cool so um they are in the continent of asia they like temperate trop tropical and grassland don't need any water don't need any climbing don't really need a tall habitat uh wall either they can go up to groups of 20 which is insane um female bachelor oh they prefer lots of females rather than lots of males interesting um and guests can enter the habitat that is a bit of a game changer interesting okay this is kind of cool maybe we could do a habitat where it's here where guests can walk through which would be really really cool actually so i think i might do some sort of path where oh this is tricky actually because i don't want a guest path coming up near here hmm um we could always get people to enter through the right and get out via the left actually okay cool that sounds like a good plan so let's do this is climbable they don't climb i don't think so we could do wooden logs <laughs> i don't know though um what other things have we been using gabion this one's all glass um let's do gabion again it's not the nicest looking material i won't lie to you but it's it's, it's okay so we'll, we'll give it a go um i think we want a gap here for buildings to be if that makes sense so we'll go around here can i do curved no i don't think so i think you can't do curved barriers unless you're in um 
what do you call it, mode. Um, what's the sandbox mode, that's it, that's the one. Um, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, it's fine. We can just make nice small little barriers like this, so we can curve around a bit more like that. Wait, this isn't right. I'm confused. Oh, have I snapped the angle? That's why I was like, why isn't this letting me? Okay, hang on. We're gonna start again. Okay, <laughs> ignore me, ignore me. We are gonna do, let's do seven. Like that's how um, wide the things are gonna be, like this. Cool, just gonna go around the path like this. Nice. Beautiful. I don't know how big I want this habitat to be either, so I think this could be big enough, maybe? Maybe a little bit longer. Because I guess if they have a large group size, it might be massive, so let's not go too short on like how many or how much room this is gonna have. Okay. I'm gonna leave a bit of a gap around this side because why not? Oh, this is the problem with like curvy paths and then like non-curvy walls. It doesn't really work, but we're gonna make it work. It's fine. There we go. Perfect. This is our very, very strange habitat entrance thing. So we need a habitat gate, but we also need a, what is it called? A guest gate that goes like here. So maybe we can have the guest gate here and then the path goes round like oh god that is a not very okay like this there we go that works quite well um and we'll make sure not to put facilities right here because otherwise guests will get pretty upset um okay we need to get them to be able to walk through also like the actual path to get through uh but we'll do that another point uh i want to get the other gates in so we need another guest gate which i think can go here and then they can walk out that way. Perfect. And then we need a habitat gate as well. We'll get another wooden one, I think. And that can go back here. There we go. Beautiful, cool. Uh, I do want to change this barrier. I'm not going to lie. I think I want to make it wooden. So maybe we can do that. There we go, wooden. And then I'm going to raise it up just to match with the gate. I think that's probably a, a nicer idea. Okay, cool. So this is basically what the habitat's gonna look like. I'm laughing because I think it just looks weird. I don't know what it is, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Um, I am gonna redo it a little bit though because I want to make it look a little bit nicer and close to the, um, the barrier thing or the path of the star facility. I think that's fine. Yeah, that looks a lot better actually. Okay, cool. Um, like that. Yeah. Okay, nice. That's looking a little less obscure, maybe. I don't really know. Okay, cool. Let's do the path that goes through the habitat. Now, this is going to be hard because I haven't landscaped yet, so maybe I should do it after. Although, sometimes I do that and then it's really difficult to put the path down because I've landscaped. So I'm going to do a little bit. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to push down and then we flatten to foundation like this. And then we can just like smooth it out a little bit. Like this. Okay. Cool. And then we'll just smooth that out a little bit. So it's fine to walk on, it's not too crazy. Um, it's really hard to do this in the dark as well. I feel like I always end up building in the dark and it does not make sense, but it's fine. Okay, smooth it out, smooth it out. Perfect. Uh, now let's get our path. So since they're walking through, I kind of want to make it like a natural path where you can't really see much of like the path in itself if this makes sense like this maybe there we go cool wait this worked perfectly nice i like this it worked well cool and then we can have it join like that although we could just make the whole thing like this which is kind of nicer and blends in nicer too. Like that, yeah? 
Oh, although this one, you can't see at all. Do we want a little bit of dirt? Oh my God, I keep doing that. I don't know. We'll leave it like this, I think. Yeah, okay. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then let's get our animals in. So I'm gonna send them to quarantine uh, because I think that's important to get them quarantined first. Let's have a look where our quarantine centers are. There we go, get them all delivered in quarantine, get them all quarantined and then we can move them straight into our zoo. Although we're gonna have to decorate it, but we'll do that once they're in there so we can see exactly what they like. Uh, we need to release um, two African wild dogs to the wild today, hopefully. Adopt and place two different habitat species. We're doing one of those. I don't think we'll have time to do another because it takes, I, I spend a long time kind of doing habitat, so. Uh, we are close to our souvenir profits. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are very close to getting souvenir profits of 2,000 a year, so that is good. Maybe we could place um, another souvenir shop. That could be helpful. Like a hats, fan a hats fantastic. I can't even remember what they're called, but there's, a there's another one. We could actually do that right now. Should we do it? Should we send it? Can we even put one here? Maybe we get rid of this and we go to blueprints. And we get, do we have an original one? No, that's a workshop. Oh God. <laughs> I need a single um, shell. And I don't know if we have one. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Put one here. Like this. And then facilities, guest facilities. We have hot dog, just a memento. We'll do one of those because I don't think we have one. Oh, oh dear. There we go. Does that work? Um, I think so. I don't know if that's where it's meant to be, but we can try and move it down maybe? Oh no, terrain modification failed, really? Okay, we'll just do it like that so you have to walk up a small ramp. I don't know why. I think I've done the terrain really weird around here, so it just does things like this, but that's fine. Right, let's put these in. Oh, quarantine passed, amazing. That's good to hear. Put that just a memento there, perfect. And then we'll add it to the work zones. We can get someone working there. Add our bench over here instead. Right, work zone first, quickly. Oh God. Um, work zone two, there you go. And we also need this in our work zone too. Perfect, great. Quarantine pass to leave. Is that almost all of them? I think so. This water treatment is inaccessible. I completely forgot that we did that. So I need to fix that. There we go. Perfect, nice. They've all passed their quarantine. We love to see it. Okay, nice. So we're gonna select them all and we're gonna move them into their brand new habitat, which is exciting. Okay, cool. Um, it looks hella weird, I'm not gonna lie. So we need some barrier walls and stuff. Um, not walls, windows. Oh, and it's nice and bright now, which is perfect. Um, there we go. Let's get some of these in here. Beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and I think that's all we need. Just like windows at the front. Uh, and then they can walk through as well. We've got an inspector here as well, uh, which is kind of exciting. Okay, these are all being moved in. So we need to go to habitats and we need to filter to Indian peafowls because they're gonna be joining any second now. Um, let's have a look. And then we're gonna get all the things they need and then we will landscape. That sounds like a good plan of what we are going to do. Can't find them on the list. There we go, Indian peafowls, okay. We also need to get some research done on them, actually. Uh, we should probably jump start that. I kind of want to get another researcher rather than... Oh, wait. I think they need to get in the habitat before we um, research or before they're able to be researched. There we go. Nice. Look at them. Oh my God, they look amazing. Okay, cool. Research now. Let's get you researching there. Um, oh, there we go. We adopt. Oh, okay, amazing. I thought it was going to be two, two different types of species, uh, but we adopt and place two different habitat species. So we've actually completed the challenge of the day, which I'm really excited about. Right. So it's time to build these habitats for these guys. Oh God, <laughs> overshot it a lot. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Look at you guys. You guys look amazing. Let me do their terrain first. 
Um, oh, and I don't like a lot of plants. Interesting. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so they have too much long grass, first of all. Uh, they like a lot more short, which I can fix. I quite prefer short grass in my habitats, as some of you will know. Oh, this gets rid of the texture. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Uh, they like some soil, so we're going to add some soil here and there just to kind of spruce up the environment a little bit, make it look kind of cool. Nice. Maybe put it on the path a little bit. That could be interesting. There we go. Nice. They also like a little bit of rock. So we could like make a little like rocky area up here. Like all of this could be rock if my um, levels allow it. Could be quite cool. Like that. This is all like rock. Nice. Cool. And then get some short grass more over here so it's not like too too much. Yeah, I, I quite like this. I think this is looking cool. Uh, we also need to make sure they have a hard shelter and then let's do the nature things first. Actually, we'll put their hard shelters in first. Okay, habitats, large shelters, uh, or hard shelters rather. We could put one up here, to be honest. I think this might be a nice place for them to chill out. I don't really know. Or maybe over here, actually, because there's a lot of space. Um, do we want a giant one so they have lots and lots of room? Probably. That would make sense. So maybe just one hard shelter here, and then we're going to get them some leaves. I'm going to get the um, large ones, so they definitely have enough room. And then we can get some medium sprinkled in. Oh god, it's really hard to place sometimes. Unless I do this. Aha! There we go. I think that's enough hard shelter. So that's good. Uh, they also need water. Now we want like enrichment and stuff to be near the guests so that they get to like watch. Um, but at the same time, we need it near the windows too because guests will also be watching here. So we're gonna have to do a bit of a mixture like this. Okay, um, food wise, they don't have any food enrichment yet because of um, research. So we can only give them like food bowls, which I think will be fine. So these aren't, oh dear, it's just the terrain. The terrain, it's so questionable. I think I might, manipulate the terrain a little bit more and flatten this to the foundation like this just to make it a little bit nicer i think that's fine it adds a little bit of like mountainous terrain i guess <laughs> i wouldn't call it mountainous maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration but you know around that around that oh wait no they have a forage box actually so we could just do this um oh i kind of want to place it here oh dear it's gonna do this thing isn't it Amazing. Right, well, we can smooth this out so that people can actually kind of see like that. Um, <laughs> it looks a little bit weird. Uh, maybe if I did a little bit of terrain paint, like here, it would look a little bit more normal. There we go. I think that's fine. Yeah, cool. Anything else they like? They have like a whole bunch of toys too, which I think they'd enjoy. If we put them around the place, put one up here as well, maybe, I don't want to put stuff back here because like otherwise they'll play over there and that doesn't make sense because we want them to play in areas where they can be seen by the public. So we'll do sprinklers and stuff around here like that. Okay, cool. That's looking nice. I like it. Um, Let's get them to just vibe for a little bit so we can just make sure that they like it. I'm gonna have to do temperature as well. That's something I often forget. Oh, we have some vet research that's been done. 
it's the Siberian Tigers. I was hoping it was going to be the Peafowls, but I think that would have been too close um, to think about. Oh, look at you. You are so pretty. These animals are gorgeous. I love them a lot. <laughs> right, so let's do the nature now. They don't like a lot of coverage, which for me, I don't enjoy because I kind of rely on coverage to make habitat look good. They like temperate, they like tropical, and they like grassland, is that? Yeah. And they are from Asia. So here we go. This is kind of what we're dealing with. Um, kind of tree wise and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going for in terms of the plan of what this is gonna look like. There's quite a variety of different things uh, that we could go for. So I'm gonna have a little experiment with some small trees. I think that might be a good idea. Because like, maybe when animals don't want a lot of coverage, going with smaller shrubs is a good idea. It's good as well because it means um, that like the guests can see them more if there's not a lot of coverage. It's like a blessing and a curse. Um, but having like lots of small things means you can like make the most of the small coverage if that makes sense. So I think this is probably a good idea there we go yeah i like that i think that's honestly even enough trees like it's quite a small like kind of weird thin habitat so i i'm quite happy with that um then i want to add like some nice shrubs which i'm really bad at doing like little clusters of shrubs so i'm gonna try my best um we can just do like a few large ferns here and there i guess that could look cool um like here just some ferns, you know, the occasional fern here and there. I don't know what that is or what that means, but I think it could look kind of cool. Like that. Yeah, I like it. Just adds a little something to make the terrain look more interesting, which I think is important. There we go. And we've still got like a fair bit of coverage that we can still use. So I'm happy about this. Go. Adding a lot around there, some more around here and here, like that. Need to make sure it's not floating either. I guarantee you a lot of this is floating, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. There we go, beautiful. Anything else I want to add? Maybe a bit more burn stuff around here. There we go. I think that's it, maybe, I think possibly um yeah i think so i think this is good i think this is nice um maybe a bit more okay yeah i like this and they actually could even do with a bit more coverage oh wow these are insane look how cool these are i'm kind of tempted to put them in they're very different though like maybe too different i don't really know also massive oak trees um that's a bit much maybe um we do also have these ferns, which could be cool to add, like just to have a little bit of variation in like colors. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh God, that is super hidden. Let's not put that in there, it's a bit of a waste. There we go. Um, put some here, keeping an eye on that coverage still. So we make sure we don't go overboard. There we go. Lovely. A um, bit more here. Cool. Trying to make it look a little bit sparse still because otherwise it might just be overkill. Um, these are definitely floating, <laughs> but we can cover it up with more ferns. See, ferns are just a lifesaver at this point, honestly. Just one in doubt. Lots of ferns. Uh, any others I want to get in here? Maybe a little bit over here. Um, maybe some more up here as well. Oh, I always accidentally favourite things. I don't know why. I must have like a really weird favourite favorite section now because I've just hearted so many. Um, those are definitely floating. I mean, we don't have to fill up the whole coverage because it kind of gives you an optimum, an optimum area. So I think this is fine. I might get another tree and put it there. And 
maybe another tree here and then I think I'll call that a day. I think that looks good. Okay, cool. Let's see how they like this. We now need to, oh, natural selection. I just got a weird unlock that you guys aren't able to see, but it was very strange. Um, now we need to get like some donation boxes in. I'm going to have them be a certain color as well. Let's get rid of these instead of moving them. Um, let's do, I think green would be nice. So let's do a green and a light green or like a blue, uh, light green. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a watermelon. That's kind of cool. I like that. There we go. And let's get enough donation boxes around the place. And then we're going to get the boards as well. So we were using these, I think. So let's put one here. First of all. And we should have power here, which is good. So there's one of those. I'm actually going to copy this just so I don't need to select it every single time. I'm going to get one over here. Bam. Beautiful. And then I don't think we need one over here if we have one over here and here. <gasps> Guessing tickets are overpriced. I love that. I absolutely love getting this notification. It makes me so happy. So that previous like when we upped it was a good idea anyway. Oh, look at these guys. These guys are so cool. Um, okay, so we also need educational speakers. The frick? Hello? Are you nervous? What was that? Why did they do that? Hello? That was the strangest thing in the world. They look amazing though. Look at these bad boys. Oh my goodness. What about you? <gasps> look at you. You're so pretty. I might try and get a screenshot here, guys. Look. Look at this freaking beautiful. Oh, jeez. Beautiful bird. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Wow. I love it. It's gorgeous. Maybe like this. Ooh. Behind the scenes, guys. This is how I do my thumbnails. I look at my beautiful, beautiful animals and um, I try and take some cool screenshots like this. This game is beautiful for screenshots, to be honest. Like, just look at these animals. Look at you, just sitting, vibing, living your best life. Oh my God, look how cool these guys are. Super, super cool. Um, I even might have donation boxes in here so people can donate as they go, which is probably a good idea, like that. There we go, that's nice. And then speakers, let's do that next. So educational speakers, um, there's a lot going on here. Maybe we can do the educational speakers as they go through the exhibits, that might be a good idea. Put it on the Indian P files. I'm gonna turn these speakers down a notch and probably move them over like here and then like lower it a little bit more there we go so i don't want it overwhelming the space in which we have other animals okay so like we could do one here beautiful and put one of these like here and that one is going to be on indian p files okay then we have this we'll lower it a little bit like that and we'll have another one like over here perfect and then can we get another one in probably not uh, but i think that's enough that's like a lot of education. That's a lot of education. Um, or in fact, we move this here and then this one could be, oh God, could be moved like here, but in the ground still like that. Oh, nope, that is not in the ground like that and then we can get one more and put it over here but we'll need to make it smaller and move it maybe like here <gasps> yeah okay cool this is looking good i like this okay so we've got a lot of education which is good 
we have people being able to walk through here we could even get like the feeder things oh my god look <laughs> <laughs> they're like charging through like there's no tomorrow i love it they're just living their best lives look at these pea fowls they're so cool are you all right dude i don't know where you're running to oh my god <laughs> what are you doing dude where's it going <laughs> i think it's just running around god they're so chicken like it's hilarious <laughs> go 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 Oh my god, their noises are really interesting. <gasps> Look at you, you're so pretty. It's ridiculous. Wow. I can't get over how like gorgeous these guys are. Beautiful. Look at you. I might like follow this one around. Hello. You're right. You just vibing? Oh my god. Look. So pretty. Nice. Okay, you're just gonna vibe over here. This one seems like quite shy. Just wants to chill near the bedding. Also, we're almost at 100,000 pounds. Like what? That's a lot of money. We are making stonks. Um, okay, so there's not a lot of people donating out here. Oh no, there is. I mean, there's a fair bit, kind of, maybe a little bit. Um, I'm gonna quickly get some benches down. All right, I hear you, I hear you. Um, like this. So we can have some people who want to sit and watch. Oh my god, I love them. <laughs> They're just screaming. Um, oh dear. I hope that doesn't mean they're distressed or something. Because it's a really interesting noise. I think it may be just like what they sound like. Um, I kind of want to get one of the feeding things in here. So if we do... Oh, I don't know where we'd put it. Maybe like, hmm, why do we want them to be fed? Here, maybe? Here? Near that food place? Okay, so let's say we put this here. Indian peafowl can throw food, amazing. And then we need to hire a educator. There we go. Uh, we need to add it to the work zone. And then what is really exciting is uh, people can come in, get an educational talk about these peafowls, and then the peafowls can get food, which is really, really cool. Um, let's make sure we assign these all to work zones, though. I think they all need to be in work zone two, if I am thinking of that correctly. So I think work zone two has all the vendors, too. Okay, amazing. Look at these guys. And we're getting money, and people are happy. That is always good to hear. We need a repair over here, so that's fine. We can get that done. And yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up here. I think we are doing pretty damn good. I like our new addition to the zoo, the peafowls. They're vibing, they're running around like crazy people and I kind of like it. Um, quick zo zoo, zo? quick zoo overview. Um, marketing has dropped down because we've probably stopped some. So let's get a new marketing thing. I think we could go a little bit more ex expensive oh no this isn't more expensive that's confusing um let's go for viral videos why not let's do it and let's make sure it doesn't renew actually nah, we'll get it to review i think we have enough uh money for it too We've got some educational speakers overlapping which is never good so if we just carefully place this a little bit and maybe move it down there we go perfect i think that's a lot better that's gonna get repaired. Okay, um, so marketing was the only thing that was dipping, but now it's all looking good. Our zoo reputation is four out of five stars, which is brilliant. Uh, we got to put our ticket prices up. Animal welfare is incredible. Staff happiness is great. And guest happiness could be a little bit better. So they still want the zoo to be bigger. Thirst is still a big thing and education. So that's all stuff we can work on next time. Uh, but if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see on this channel. Feel free to suggest animals you would like to be added to the zoo that I can take under consideration we have a bit of a list because i asked some twitch subscribers to suggest some but i am raring it to add more and more species to this zoo so that's really exciting um also feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to get notified every time i go live which is on a saturday or whenever i upload a video which is on a wednesday and that is pretty much it i will see you guys in the next one bye